stop uploading files one by one. Learn how to upload multiple files at one go to SharePoint in seconds using Copilot Create File Tool. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to upload multiple files in SharePoint at one go dynamically, right? In my series of file management videos in Copilot, this is my third video. In my previous video, I have shown first how to upload a file in a SharePoint predefined folder. And this is the example of that. In this predefined folder, I have uploaded multiple files one by one using my Copilot Studio Agentware. The user was asked to upload these files one by one, and then these files got uploaded. In my another video where I have created this dynamic project folder using my agent, then in that dynamic folder, the user is asked to upload multiple files one by one not at a time. The bottom line is in both my previous videos, users were asked to upload multiple files if they wish, one by one, not at a time, right? So this time the demo will be really interesting and different where the user will be able to upload multiple files at one go. So this is my test folder. I have created in this folder multiple files I will upload at a time, not one by one. This is the agenda of this video. So let's get started with the demo. I will initiate a chat with my agent. Now I initiated my chat. Now I'll just pass a prompt. Something like I want to upload multiple files in my SharePoint folder. Let's see what happens. My agent is processing my prompt and replied back to me saying that. You can now upload your files. Please go ahead and upload them all at once, right? So I will just attach all my files from my local drive and attach them at a time. Now I'll just say here, upload these files right. Then submit it. Now my files are being processed and you could see that all three files have been uploaded in my SharePoint folder. And I could see these are the links to my files, right? Now I'll go to my SharePoint and refresh my test folder. Then I could see all the files just came at a time just a minute ago. So this time my agent has not uploaded these files one by one. At a time I was able to pass multiple files and my agent handled this. So this is a really tricky demo. You will learn really something new. And I'll show you what I did for this. First I'll go to the tools menu of my agent. Then I have added a create file tool. This is my tool. This is my SharePoint site URL I have passed. And for a folder path, I have selected my test folder from my shared documents document library. So you can select your folder from here. My test folder is in this path, right? This is the folder I selected. Then we need to pass file name and file content parameter. I'll come to this later and explain it. This is the tricky part. Earlier in my previous videos, I passed the file name and file content in a different way. This time I'm passing different value right. The next thing is I have created a custom topic called handle multiple file uploads. This is my custom topic. Then I have created a variable named as var1 file collection. This is my file collection variable I have created here. You also can create a new variable. To create a new variable, go to the variable management menu, then click on the set of variable value action. Here you can create a new variable. You'll get an option to create a new variable. You can see how I am creating. So this is how I created. Then I set the value. Let me delete it as I've other one. 
This is the variable I have created. This is a topic-based variable as usual. You can see how it is configured. In this variable, I will pass the system variable activity attachments. Whatever files I attach to my chat screen get stored in this variable. Even if you don't create a custom variable, you can directly loop through this system variable. Next, I have added a loop through a list action. This is a new action under variable management. Then list management will get loop through a list. Action, I have selected this. Right, so once I selected this, I have passed. My file collection variable for the items to loop over. Then inside this, I have a section called loop. Value variable here. This variable loop value one gets created automatically. I didn't rename it. What I did is I just changed the usage scope from the topic to the global scope. I made this variable a global variable. This is the tricky step. So if you do not, convert this local or topic-based variable to global variable. We cannot call this variable for file name and file content in the create file tool parameter. This is a tricky configuration. I had to put a lot of effort into figuring this out. Finally, I have figured this out and am sharing it with you. The good thing is this variable will be created automatically. You just need to change the scope of usage of this variable from topic base to global. And check this box, allow carry between session. Then what I'm doing is now, inside the loop, I have added a message box node to display each file before processing. This is just for debugging purposes. Then I'm calling the SharePoint create file plugin or tool inside this loop. I will show you how I have added this tool. Click on the add a tool menu. Then from the tool tab, select your SharePoint create file tool. Here is my create file tool. I have selected it. That's it. I'll not pass anything here automatically. Everything will be taken care, right? Then I will show you how I am passing this file name and content of the file in this create tool. I'll just delete this action as I have another one. Now, coming to create file tool that I had started with. Here for the file name, I am passing global.loopValue1.name. Here I am accessing my loop variable through the global attribute. This is my global loop variable, which I am passing to the file name of my create file tool. See how I'm passing this. Global loop variable in the file name parameter. You need to type global dot. Then you can select your variable. Then, once you select your global variable and type a dot, you can see file properties like name, content, content type, and value. This is coming from the file collection and loop variable. Then for the file content, similarly, I went to this. Formula and selected the file content property from my global loop variable attribute. That's it. This is really a tricky part which I have discovered. The loop variable must be of a global type. Otherwise, you cannot access it from here. That's it. This is how it is working. And as usual, I have configured these instructions for my agent. Where user wants to upload multiple files, ask them to upload their files at one go. So users will be asked to attach or upload multiple files at a time. They don't need to upload them one by one. Then I am saying when a user uploads or attaches files, you must execute this topic. Handle multiple file uploads. After uploading each file, return the file link URL to the user. Because of these instructions, all my files got uploaded to SharePoint, and I can see their URLs after a successful upload. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something new especially how to upload multiple files to SharePoint at one go.
using Copilot Studio's Create File tool with ease. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. For more trending tutorials on Microsoft Copilot, Power Platform, and SharePoint Online, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Thank you.